playing games, gum. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's all up next. We find ourselves in the
two-time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins, despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive.
A shotgun snap, and again to Edwards and Lair. And tap him down after a gain of three. Oh. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice run of third there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. But he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now the Holmes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. They'll try and run it in with Burton. And he'll get it down close to the guard unit. That one in. That gets you three yards closer here as it brings him second and one. Good solid gain of a first down about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Second and goal from the one. They go play fake. Mahomes. They shakes him off. Steps away. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact is very deep. So pass interference, the call is so I'm tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best block. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. His kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Murray now. This one's by 
from the 36 now. First and 10. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All the guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Eight yards to go on second down. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on the receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching oh, man, it right now. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. of discipline defensively on fourth down and now that leads to a first and ten. Murray a give. This is counter. Give him five on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brandon five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line to get them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw is Murray. He's going deep for Brown. He tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Put to the final of Jerry Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to have it here at their own 15. Mark, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They've got a 7 0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. They wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here from the first quarter. We have, and I think it works to be a good for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. That's going to go down. It's a loss of five, and it brings up third down. The running lines have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, but I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Here's 
Tommy Townsend now, standing just outside his own goal line. Here's more on the return. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43 yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a second and four coming up. An option handoff given to Connor, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that now poor get me to throw down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Murray to throw on third and one. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's understandable the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line. It's taking it up really well run. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Murray now to throw. Buying time is left. And this one too low. I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's a little bit intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all his receivers downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Murray going to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. You see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag right out as you're trying to carry the clock. You've got to be really on third down just one for three thus far they need just a yard here it's third and one they'll try and run for it with Connor well they hit him in the backfield and he will not escape and that is not going to get it done a loss of a yard and it brings up four two things to watch first his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact but at his size once you slow his momentum it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage going for it on four. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injury on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. First and ten. Connor up the middle. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. From the 16, Murray. Burks has it left side. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the team can go up the three-yard line. He certainly done a nice job playing the field on this drive, but here he finds a big time. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now is Murray. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, screen pass to Connor. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there and take the hit and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Carlos Dunlap, the Florida Gator, is shooting his way to the quarterback. Well, this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. It's good to It's 7-3. So that kick gives a good first break to the game. See, it comes on a third Stop 
From the 22, Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Throw that set, complete to Smith-Schuster. Mahomes finding Juju there for the Kansas City first. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. Uh, and there's a push to the tight end. Look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throw here complete to Kelsey. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot him at the 49. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he did some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Edwards away as they move out of the goal. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as we're going to stop him behind the line. And Stephen Collins in the right field with ease and making the stick. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Gary correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw, it's Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. It's Mahomes. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you and that's exactly what they did on that play first with the pass through the air nice jerky yardage there and then additional pick up with his legs after the catch Mahomes gonna throw and that is caught for the touchdown Kansas City Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes as his guys are able to extend their lead. 
Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Butker on to kick it away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it in. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Charles, we'll see if they can do it here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need him right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Murray now on first down. Quick slant to Brown. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup at seven, past the 30 to the 32. They love to just strike back that touchdown. Right? It's a long play, so be Get to the first down, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Murray. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Murray now on first down. Ball in the middle, complete. It's Connor. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Just about every quarterback is trained to work really downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. And Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Burns. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First 
and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Murray again. in the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Up the first. 
finished. Murray going to try to throw on third down. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. He needed three. He doubled that. He got six. As you know, so many things in the case of game are based on knowledge. Sometimes it's just based on the game. There's a missile right there on that play. Third and three. Just get the ball right to the receiver. This is the hitch route. Tell us, what is the hitch route? They just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on his heels, get the ball out to the receiver, and he does the rest. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Murray. This will be swung out here for Connor. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I don't know the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so he can only go so far outside. They're able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. He knows something. He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stay. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Running lanes were a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. First and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Murray now. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're really incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've been back on the field since they were on this drive. Got a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. They'll have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays and resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Murray from midfield. Yeah, he had an open run beyond the first down and more control of the receiver. But they just couldn't connect, and now we'll send him back to the drawing board. Let's do our thing! Let's do our thing! Here's Andy Lee now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Second down, a run with Edwards Allaire. And he'll get it across 
across midfield. Oh, yeah. 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 Saw that indeed picking up the first. First and ten, it's Edwards alone with it. And he'll bring this one inside the third foul. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards and first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Play action, now it's Mahomes. To the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes. That's going to be a first down, well done. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Mahomes now on first down. Throw him outside, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. They go back to the ground with Edwards alone. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage.
Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20 without much further as he's dropped it to 24 yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as he gets set to take over. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He's solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Let's talk about pretty good teammates right here. The fact that you that is, possess the block for the play, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 29, Murray on the slant, the end right What's that? Good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but other center effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the size of the game on the yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run behind center with Connor. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry on the ball, that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. To throw, it's Murray. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and then will run down the first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football, he's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And here he'll get it down to the 7. He'll go down as a gain of 6. And that'll make it 7 down. And decided to run a hit track. It really helps to have a guy can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run out of the catch, but it worked really well. to go on second down from the seven. From the gun, Murray to Connor on the check down. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. <laughs> 
you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Murray to air it out again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. For the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Prater's kick is good. And I think this the game. to get Just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line. The Chiefs are things set to go. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he'll just plow right into his first two tackles. Nothing at all. That will be second and ten. As usual, the whole world will go in defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely no one can run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he will lose yardage on the play back in his own 19 yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. It looks like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book out. They were there and they tackled him for a loss. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Now he's forced out right. 
to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This is a 26-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. Continuing to throw the football. 
Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51 <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England and they ended up giving it up? I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll run here with Edwards Ware. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 40 yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll find Clyde Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Mahomes going to throw. This is going to be caught along the sidelines, but they should have been caught. He's going to win shoot the chair. Well, completion, but they go in the wrong direction. Loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be brought down inside the four-round That's a statement. keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll run with Edwards alone. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll 
try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings him third down. Now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Mahomes to throw. This is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Cardinals, 16. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by 12, a little under a minute to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's got Connor. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34. And that's good for a pick on the 10 yards. And they'll be going for a second and about At this stage, this crowd's got to be touchdown or bust because you need to. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take his shot, but it's third down. Good for the bigger they had second down. Now they're going to come down to the final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down. Oh, touchdown. touchdown. This game's over. What's the deal, y'all? On fourth down, here's the option. And he'll get him a first down up past the 40 as the clock ticks on. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation.
motivation going forward.